here in Playa or the Kuala Lumpur International Airport and I got my baggage already so when I arrived at the airport I always remembered um, AIM so I just made an what acronym just three letters that the important things to remember before leaving the airport first is A is find your adapter so I have already an adapter which I will show you um, which I got before last year because Malaysia has like European, I think British three ports different from our country Philippines second is I is internet because you, you need it for Google Maps M is for money, exchange money exchange to local money, not all because the exchange rate at the airport is not very good but exchange money so that you can pay for whatever mode of transportation you're going to take when you leave the airport. The Kuala Lumpur International Airport is a major hub because knowing that Air Asia is from Kuala Lumpur. So this is a major transportation hub. This is so big. I think the airport is so big. What I've read before it's like 100 kilometers, square kilometers in dimension. So that's so big. But the Naia International Airport in the Philippines our major transportation hub is just at 2000 so that is good planning right there then you can expand your airport into a bigger size so let's go to the arrival hall so I finished all the tests that I need to do like exchange some money also get a sim I like the money of Malaysia because it's small it fits easily in the pocket a 4G sim which I booked on Tluk so you can book like cheap same cards. Just pick up in a location here at the arrival hall. We're now traveling to the center of Kuala Lumpur. So there are four options to go travel from Playa to Kuala Lumpur. That first I think taxi and then there's also an airport railway which is on schedule because it's already like 1 a.m. I don't think there's already an airport railway so that's out of my option. Taxi is way too expensive and a bus, I don't know the schedule. The fourth option is get a Malaysian friend and let him drive you to Kuala Lumpur. I got a Malaysian friend, he offered when I was asking what mode of transportation do I need to take from the airport and it's considering 1 a.m. in the morning so he just gracefully, I didn't force anything and then offered that he will take me to Kuala Lumpur Center. Now. So I just entered the driver's seat. I forgot they were driving on the they were left side left side driving, right? Yeah. Left side driving like no, yeah. We just left maybe five minutes in the airport and then we're now at the McDonald's. Like what better way to start the trip than to eat at the McDonald's, right? Doria, not even in our country. It's 2.30. Just gonna eat McDonald's. <laughs> just drive a minute. McDonald's with Milo. It's so big. Just like in my country, you can leave the leftovers, like the cups. You, you don't have to clean it like other Asian countries. So still feels like home. Which we're not proud of. Maybe we'll change. Maybe. We're now in KL. Center of KL. If we keep quiet, Philippines who works here at Kuala Lumpur and then they're just gonna pick me up here at the bus station or the bus stop not station. Ah! 
Hi there. So we are now here, 26th floor of this Cosway building. And, and I'm staying in this room. So let's have our room tour. Am I only, the only one gonna stay here? Seriously? So I have four beds, so I can wake up at 3 a.m. and then transfer to, to, to the other side. Or, seriously, uh, this is like a dormitory. And, and I, I asked the concierge <laughs> to have the view of the Petronas Twin Tower. When I open it, so let's reveal if they approve the request. Where is the tower? Where is the tower? <laughs> Now is already 4 a.m. and I have arrived in Kuala Lumpur. I am unboxing a new phone which I got earlier this day. So this is my new phone that I got. This is the Galaxy Note 9. So now this is the phone. I'm gonna check it. So this is it, the Galaxy Note 9. The bag. But before that. I'm going to show you the other things in the box. So after the phone, you have your earbuds, extra earbuds, standard. This is for the, this is the pen remover, which I also have before. And you have your adapter. So this is the adapter. And you have your um, USB type C. I think this is the USB connector, OTG. And you also have the micro USB so you have a lot of adapter I don't know what I'm saying but these are adapters next is this is the cord for the charger and your AKG tuned speaker which is worth almost 5,000 the lady said not sure about that though so it's black so it doesn't get dirty easily nothing left more box and let's proceed to the main event the Galaxy Note 9 so I'm just gonna get this one. Wow, first impressions. Whoa. The edges are just so beautiful. This is so squarish phone. It fits perfectly in my big hands. It's so cold, it's so cold because it's glass at the back. Mm. Let's open. Ooh. Oh my god. Okay. It's just empty on the front. It's so clean. It's my first time to have this kind of phone that no bezels for the whole bottom. And you have here is the Bixby bottom, which I will try maybe later because I didn't really know what Bixby is. So you have the volume rockers on the left side. So when I'm holding it, it will be like like this one on my fingers so yeah that's very reachable so at the front you have the front speaker so you have a speaker at the top and you have a camera and you also have a bottom speaker and your charger and this is the best thing Samsung saved you have to get this 3.5 which is really really nice so so this is the major component of the note the S Pen so you just have to push it so that it will eject. Ooh, this will be the S Pen. So now, S Pens have new functions like controlling to shoot cameras and it already has controlling PowerPoint and something like that. So you can now use this one to control your phone while it's away from you. So it's like a pointer doing presentations or taking selfies like timer selfies so that is a very big advantage and and as far as I know you just have to put it back so that it will charge for 30 seconds and then you can use it let's turn it on now so let's see I want to close up my face but when I turn it on I want to see my reaction but I'm just gonna see it there Ooh, that is the gal note 9 Mm, Samsung logo. Pretty nice. Oh! <laughs> this display is awesome! Wow, let me just take a moment to absorb this one. 
subscribe because I'm so happy with this phone. This phone is so beautiful, the camera, the display, everything that I need in a smartphone is here so that's why I bought it. I bought it on the first day, I reserved, pre-ordered for this one. So. so again, these are the things included in your Samsung Galaxy Note 9 box. So you have the phone here, which I'm still not used to since I came from this very big iPad, which will take me time to get used to. So you have the box here. You have your manuals and you have your free smart LTE SIM. You have your case and you have your the unit, um, the pencil remover. This is your adapters. This is your charging, your AKG earphones. This is your buds and this is your adapter. So that's about it in the box. Thank you for watching this video. Subscribe to my channel and watch out for my travel vlog because I'm in Kuala Lumpur now and See you guys next time.